Nano Banana Pro is insane for making AI ads. With just a couple hours of my time, I made this Nike ad. And in this video, I'll break down how I did it. The crowd rises. This free throw could cut the lead to one. LeBron takes a breath. The shot is up. Ronaldo steps forward. A chance to change everything. Dead center. Could this be the strike that puts them ahead? Serena squares up. Serving for the game. The toss. The swing point won. Serena Williams is the champion. Ronaldo scores. LeBron got it. LeBron James just made history. So I've always been inspired by athletes like Cristiano Ronaldo, LeBron James and Serena Williams. So now that we have the provision of Nano Banana with way sharper details in sand prompt adherence and also better character consistency and I just knew it was time to make this advertisement. So with the help of Akul AI, which we would combine a tool like Nano Banana Pro with Clean AI, then it can actually make for some insane animations which I'll be showing you. And so to begin, we are going to start with the storyboarding which will consist of us to get our story and how we are going to get our images. So this is what we are going to do. We are going to go to ChatGPT and this is the prompt I gave to ChatGPT. I said, so I have an idea for a Nike ad that the first image is LeBron James with the basketball during the match. And then I made um, cuts into the Serena Williams, into Ronaldo, then I cut into Serena Williams. So I wanted to add a scene of Mercy and the Pepsi ad, but um, I did not for some reason. But then this was me getting my um, prompt from ChatGPT. So after I gave ChatGPT um, the idea I had in mind, it came up with these um scenes for each of the scenarios i was trying to replicate or the scenarios i was trying to make out of the image so after that we are now going to ask ChatGPT to write out the prompt we are going to use to generate our scenes then we are bringing it to our cool ai so our cool ai is the ai we are going to use to bring these images to create the images and also bring these images to life and on the cool ai you can see a lot of tools here that you can also make use of there is voice cloning text to speech and then we are going to input our prompt in the image generator so we are going to use the nano banana pro make sure you're selecting the nano banana pro to generate your scenes and here we are going to bring our prompt so to start with the first prompt we want to use is to create or generate is a prompt of um lebron james holding the basketball in his hand so we are going to put this prompt here as you can see Close-up of LeBron James' hands, gripping a basketball, powerful fingers, pressing into textured leather, visible veins, chalk dust, embedded in skin, creases, um, sweat sheen on hand, hyper detailed. And then um, you can see I also inputted the camera and the lens and then also the rich bouquet and also added um, dark moody aesthetic to keep it um, realistic and all for an high-end commercial realism then you are going to pick the amount of images you want then select your image ratio and then we are going to pick do you want it in 1k or 4k resolution so after selecting that we are going to hit on generate so after putting in our prompts we click on generate for the scenes to be generated with the nano banana nano banana pro so there's another way of creating your image this is the image to image so if you have an image that you want to keep consistent or you want to um keep um replicating with the same texture and all you can go to image to image to select that but what we want is the text to image now you can see these scenes being generated you can see this you can see this one and you can see this they are all absolutely good so depending on the kind of angle you want you can always re-edit your prompt 
and you know regenerate then for the second prompt is the prompt where lebron james was trying to make the shot where he's looking at the hoop at the basketball hoop so that is what we want to generate now you can see the prompt here a dramatic front angle portrait of lebron james during focus free throw wearing a yellow lakers jersey his eyes locked in with the arena light reflecting sharply in his people sweat glistening naturally across the skin captured with an ultra shallow so you can see this shallow depth so you can see the image generated right here showing the lights um reflecting in his eyes as well so the second one is what we want to use because that represents him looking at the um, basket ball hoop and the lights behind that and him trying to take a shot so that is what we are going to pick for this particular one then you can go ahead to generate every other scene that you want including the ronaldo section including the serena williams um section and then you can then combine your scenes and turn them into um videos but now i've generated the lebron scene and remember chat will give you the prompts for each of the scenarios and scenes that you want to create now after getting all your um images that you've generated all your scenes with the image what we now want to do is to go to image to video. Now I'm going to show you how I made the transition where I transitioned the basketball to the football and then the football to the um, tennis ball. So we are going to go to image to video and then we are going to select um, this. You can see reference, you can see frame. So we're going to use the frame. You can see styles here, effects. Um, there are lots of effects here in case you want to create um a scene that has an effect you can always select this or you can come here and select what you want but we don't need an effect for this so what we are going to do you see the start frame you see the prompt section and then you see the model for your generation so we are going to select you can see Aku has its own um video generation where they have the long form video that can generate up to 20 seconds video then you can see the cling here we are going to be um rotating from the cling v2.6 pro and the clean 2.5 pro so here we are now going to you can see other options here like sora one two and also view three so what we need here is the 2.5 or the view 2.6 now the view 2.5 is what we are going to use when we are generating the transition scene but then the view 2.6 is what we are going to use when we are generating the normal scenarios that simple scenes that has to do with one way kind of generation and then but you can also use view 2.5 if you wish to but we are just going to you know separate the work and then we are going to use 2.6 for the normal generations which are the simple generations that's hard to do with direct generations and then we are now going to use the 2.5 to do the transition scenes so let's go so first off you hit on the start frame and then you're going to input your image so starting with this this was our first um our first scene where we just you know um lebron james eyes you know looking at um the basketball so this is where we are going to start so now look at the prompts i'm going to give to this to generate this so i said focused eyes blinking heavily and not too fast once blinking heavily and not too fast once looking at the same place sweat from eye from one eyebrow Add very subtle skin shimmer from sweat. Keep the camera almost still with a slight natural handheld motion. That's the prompt I gave to it. And then you can select the amount of videos you want. Then you can also select um, if you want sound in it or if you also the duration. Do you want it to be up to 10 seconds or just 5 seconds? So you can pick the AI gen if you need the sound in it. You can also indicate the kind of sound you want in it when prompting. So now when this has generated if you don't like it you can always you know regenerate or reprompt and generate so you can see this kept to detailed and him you know blinking once um the sweats part was supposed to drip from his eyebrow but we had just have to reprompt and you know regenerate so we are going to go ahead to generate other scenes that we have to so what you do when you wants to generate your scenes you can actually go back to chat gpt and ask it to rewrite prompts that you can use to generate those scenes so now i'm going to generate this scene because this is similar to the rest so i'm going to generate the ronaldo scene where he was just you know well after we transitioned to the football part 
So I'm going to add this heavy breathing, which is the Ronaldo's um, heavy breathing whenever he wants to take a free kick. So we're going to add the heavy breathing. Here you can see um, focused eyes blinking one slowly, looking at the same place, straight from one eyebrow and all of that. So you can always select. So I selected on um, view or clean 2.6 and then we generate to get our scenes. So like I said, you can always pick your sound depending on what you want. So here you can see all of my scenes or straight scenes have been generated from Ronaldo's part to LeBron James' part to Serena Williams' part. You can see this Ronaldo. You heard the breathing when I actually did the other editing at the beginning. So you can see this part where um, LeBron James is focused to the ring where he wants to take a shot and then you can see this part where he was holding the ball but initially i made the ball to rotate in his palms for him to rotate the ball and this is where he was taking you know um some chances before trying to shoot and then this was the transition part and after this we are going to head over to the transition part how we would animate the transitioning so this is it and now we now want to generate the transition where we will transition from the basketball to the football and from the football to the uh, to the um long tennis or to the tennis ball so let's dive into that and i'll show you how i did it so these are all the animations of the straightforward scenes like i mentioned so you can see they are all very simple. You can get your prompts for animation through ChatGPT. You can ask it to write out the prompt. Since it gives you the prompt to generate the scene, you can ask it to write out the prompts for you to use to generate your animation to animate those scenes. So now let's go. So like I said, to actually animate the um, transitioning. So what we need, we need um, a direct scene where we have LeBron James throwing, trying to, you know, hoop um, the basketball. And then we also need um, a still scene of Ronaldo in the field. So this is what we are going to do. So I generate an image of LeBron James trying to shoot. And also Ronaldo, you can see him standing with the ball in between his legs when he was about taking a free kick. So I'm going to put in the prompts to generate this um, transitioning. So I said the ball shoots at a strong 45 degree up right angle from the first frame. Moving fast with no startup delay, it climbs well above the frame, well above the frame, while also traveling left. Now I said traveling left because where LeBron James is standing trying to take this shot, he is facing the left part or the left side. So if at all it was right, we are going to say traveling right. So the camera follows up left with the ball and keeps it centered do not let the ball go right or backwards. Keep motion smooth and steady, then drop to the grass and roll to the player's foot. No stopping, camera keeps a soft and held drift. Then I'm going to select, is it 10 seconds or 5 seconds? And then we're going to, you know, generate our scene. And let's wait for the, let's wait for the final um, appearance and then let's see. So now I'm done with the transition. You can see this, this is what I generated. So this is absolutely amazing. So the ball lands in the field and then immediately transitions into the football and goes into Ronaldo's leg placement and then stabilizes. So now we now generate where we, um, you know, the ball to the um, tennis ball. So Ronaldo shoots and then it's, you know, gets into tennis balls to Serena Williams' hands. And so you can see it's almost the same animation prompt that we used to animate the transitions you just have to um put in your prompt well and the transitioning very well so you can see this is how i generated all of this it was quite simple and you can also redo this if you wish to so if you have any question please leave it in the description and the link to our cool ai would be in the description as well if you have any questions drop it in the comments we'll be there to answer you thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to the channel see you in the next video you can also create something beautiful and amazing as this